we greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. I am Dr. J.J. along with First Lady, the Reverend Luella H. Thomas of the Elm Grove Baptist Church in Meridian, Georgia, where our motto is, everybody is somebody in the Lord. I want to welcome our church family as you come in to your cyber sanctuary and have your seat with your notebook, your Bible, or whatever instruments you are using to follow this word. We also want to welcome our Facebook family members and viewers. We ask that you like, share, and comment. Give us your thumbs up. Let us know how we are doing. Come on and join in with this service. Put your hands together. Clap. Whistle. Let's have a great time in the name of Jesus the Christ. Also, to our YouTube subscribers, we are so humbled and grateful that you have done this. Continue to encourage others to subscribe to the Ellen Grove Baptist Church YouTube channel where you can go in the treasure trove and pull up messages that can help you on this Christian journey. Again, we want to thank all of you for your love, for your support all over the land and country, even in the third world country. We thank God for you, our local people. We thank God for you all over this country and land. We want to say thank you for your support. Now, if you will, let us go before God's rich throne of grace. How about Father, it is in the matchless name of Jesus. We humbly come now with thanksgiving and with praise. We ask that you allow me as the preacher to decrease. Holy Spirit, fill me up now and allow this earthen vessel to speak the oracle of God that will go through the airwaves, permeating it, healing and delivering and setting captive is free. Let somebody be saved on this evening. Let somebody's life be changed through the word of God. And we all say thank you and amen, amen, and amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, if you would, let us put our hands together and give God a great big hand of praise because when we Look Amen. back over our lives yes. and we see where and how God brought us. Amen. Our souls ought to cry out, hallelujah, hallelujah. because there were some times when we were down. We were almost level with the ground, but God and his amazing grace and his tender mercies met us all at our point of need. And we are thankful as we now prepare to go into the word of God. We pray that this word will be a lamp unto your feet and a light to your pathway. Amen. If you would join us now, we're going to be teaching from the subject of quit waiting. Mm -hmm. Quit Waiting. Amen. We used to say it in the old vernacular. Why don't you stop waiting on things? Why don't you get aggressive and go out and get what you have for you? Well, I come to tell you, God is speaking the same thing to us. Many of us are saying, I'm waiting on God. And I can tell you unequivocally, God is saying this, this evening, I am waiting on you. It's your move. Hunt your neighbor and tell them it's your move it's now. Your move. You, you've been standing still long enough. Amen. You know, on this Christian journey, sometimes, hey amen, we take things for granted and we think that God is just going to do it for us. Mm -hmm. When he's telling you all the time, you put forth an effort mm -hmm. and God will meet you at your point of need. Amen. God is a need meeting God. I think it was David that said he stands with 10,000 blessings. In other words, blessings unlimited yes. is in his power yes. to satisfy us who are poor yes. in heart and poor yes. in spirit. Amen. Just know this, that God has 
everything that you will ever need upon you accepting Jesus the Christ mm -hmm. as your Lord and your Savior. Yes. God has everything, everything that you'll ever need. Yes. All you have to do is take a deep dive mm -hmm. into God. Draw nigh. Mm -hmm. And the word of God say, when you draw nigh unto God, mm -hmm. God will draw nigh unto you. Amen. Now, I want you to get this very clearly because the more that you draw closer to God, the less you will stand around waiting on God to do something for you. Because as you draw near to God, you begin to have the ear to hear what God is speaking into your life. Amen. You can say, I've been praying and I've been praying and it seems as though God had not heard my cry. Amen. But I can tell you, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. God has heard your cry and God is waiting for you yes. to get into action for the things that you have requested from him Amen. so that he can bless Amen. you. Come on and give the Lord a hand to pray. Tell you, I'm going to put forth an effort now. Do you know anything that you go at in life, if you put forth an effort at it, God will walk you through to your blessing. Amen. Am I right about Amen. it? I want you to just know this, that you have power since you became saved. Mm -hmm. You have the authority and the power to use mm -hmm. the name of Jesus mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. For when they hung him high oh, yeah. and stretched him wide yes. and he died mm -hmm. and he took his blood uh -huh. and went back into heaven mm -hmm. and placed it on the mercy seat yes. at the Ark of the Covenant, mm -hmm. he paid the perpetuation for every Amen. sin. His blood was pure, yes. and he has given you, as a believer mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ, yes. the authority uh -huh. to use his name. Yes. You say you're a Christian, mm -hmm. you're blood-bought, yes. and you're redeemed. Mm -hmm. You have the power yes. to use the name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever you ask for yes. in the name name of Jesus, uh -huh. expect yes. God to hear you yes. and to answer yes. you. Yes. Wait on him sometime, yes. but you don't necessarily have to spend your life mm -hmm. waiting. Mm -hmm. Hata yes. The waiting that I'm talking about is as you are expecting your miracle uh -huh. that you be in action yes. towards it. Amen. Come on now, Amen. let your yes. blessing yes. set you, yes. overturn, yes. and just Follow you up with blessings. Yes. That's the season we're living in. Amen. God has blessings Amen. untold mm -hmm. that he's going to pour out yes. upon you, yes. you, and yes. you. But you must have expectation. Yes. Stop sitting around just waiting for a drop. Uh -huh. Get out there and get in the business. Yes. Get out there and get busy yes. for God. Uh, Come on yes. and give him a great yes. big hand of praise. The Lord say, even if you have mustard seed faith, that you can receive the blessings from the Lord. Yes. Do you have faith to yes. believe Amen. that God is a blessing God? Yes. That God is a loving God? Yes. That God is a miracle working God? Uh -huh. That God can and will yes. supply your need? Uh -huh. But it's something that you got to do or you must be in the action mm -hmm. of doing yes. that God will touch mm -hmm. and bless. Yes. Let's look at the word of God here now. Now, as we go over to John, the fifth chapter, and verse number one, I want you to see, amen, an example of a man who has waited all of his life for a blessing. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. But because, and, and as I teach it to you, you're going to see, amen, what he was caught up in. Let's look at the fifth chapter of the gospel according to St. John, beginning at verse number one. And I'm going to teach from these verses very quickly. It reads, after this, there was a feast. We just finished the feast of Passover. That was the feast that he is speaking of. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, 
and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Get this, Jesus participated in the feast, the feast of Passover. Many of us Christians say, he didn't do that. He, Jesus was a Jew by nationality, and he had a part and took a part in the feast and the festivals. Amen. Let's read just a little bit further here. Now, amen, in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, which is in Hebrew, is called Bethesda, mm -hmm. having five porches. Mm -hmm. And in these, I want you to get a picture of this now. I want you to see the vastness of this. There's a great pool out here, but there are porches where there are people who are disabled uh -huh. lying mm -hmm. around the pool. Why are they there? Because they always they were waiting for this time and this season. Because during this time right. and season, yes. an angel would come down right. and stir the waters, uh -huh. and those who got in first uh -huh. would be healed. Amen. Now, let, now, I want you to follow with me. Now, here's a man. Mm -hmm. He's at the pool. But he is disabled. He is a paraplegic. Mm -hmm. He cannot move himself around. Mm -hmm. Let's read just a little further here now. Amen. And in these lay a great crowd of invalids, blind, halt, lame, and paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of us. We waiting on something to happen. We waiting for a break. We waiting for this and we waiting for that. But I found out in life, real go-getters don't sit around waiting. Amen. They make their own way. Amen. And as they're making their way and being aggressive at it, and, and I'm talking to the church now, uh -huh. we got to get back to the old way uh -huh. of being revolutionaries, yes. being aggressive, yes. and going at what uh -huh. God has for us. Uh -huh. Let's look a little further here. And it states, Amen. For an angel, amen, went down at a certain time into the pool and he stirred the waters. Mm -hmm. Now, when the stirring of God comes, mm -hmm. there is something that's going to happen supernatural in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, it may not be the pool or it may not be the water, but there is something that God is doing in our lives mm -hmm. individually and collectively that is letting us know uh -huh. in this time and in this season yeah. that God mm -hmm. is stirring the water. Mm -hmm. Just want your neighbor to tell it, it's blessing time. It's, blessing. it's miracle time. Type it in. Mm -hmm. It's miracle time yeah. because the waters are being stirred. Yes. We went through a pandemic almost three years. Uh, the enemy had him a field day. Yes. We lost loved ones. People got sick. People got long haul COVID. COVID kept coming. COVID still here. Amen. Even though we're moving through a post pandemic, uh -huh. COVID is yet Amen. here. Why? Because we haven't gotten aggressive enough in the prayer world mm -hmm. to eliminate him. Yes. It's yes. not enough of us calling on the yes. name of the Lord. Yes. Because yes. when you call on the the name of the yes, Lord yes. and stop waiting on mm -hmm. doctors and scientists uh -huh. to do the work for us. Yes. Let God do the work Amen. and the work will be done. Amen. Scientists have done the best they can yes. and COVID is yet spiking. Amen. Wars and rumors yes. of wars yes. have broken out. But, Amen. But the body of Christ, uh -huh. the real believers yes. got to start standing up yes. and getting aggressive in this world yes. and taking back what God has for you. Amen. Let's look a little further here now. Mm -hmm. Amen. And say, an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Amen. And after the stirring of the water, whoever, it didn't matter whether you were saved, mm -hmm. whether you was a member of the first Baptist in, in heaven, or whatever you went to church, to the Pentecostal church on the south side, uh -huh. wherever. It said, whoever, whoever. That whether you're a sinner or a saint, uh -huh. whoever 
got in there first. Why? Because God is not a respecter of person. God will reign on the just as well as the unjust. Now he's covenant with you who are justified, but the unjust will get blessed also. Come on and give God a great big hand to pray and tell him I'm going to stop waiting. I'm waking up. I'm shaking this slumber off of me. I'm shaking this laziness off of me. I'm shaking this fear yes, off of me. Yes. I'm shaking this insecurity yes. off of me. Yes. And I'm going at what I need. Oh, yes. I'm going at what God yes, has for me. Yes. Because what God has for me yes. is yes. just for me. Yes. Oh, this man had been around this pool laying there for years. Look what it states here. Amen. After the stirring of the water, whoever stepped in first was healed of whatever disease that he had. True story. A certain man was there who had an illness for 38 years. Mm -hmm. He'd been laying there. Mm -hmm. He'd been crippled. He'd been unable to get to the place uh -huh. to where he can receive his healing. Uh -huh. He done been around folk with negative talk so long now until he's just lying there. Yes. He's lost all his fight. Uh -huh. He's lost all his drive. Yes. He's lost even his desire yes. to be healed. Uh -huh. Don't you know sometime in life if you wait so long uh -huh. you'll lose your drive. Yes. You'll lose your desire yes. to accomplish the yes. things in life that God yes. has for you. Uh -huh. Brothers and and sister, mm -hmm. I come to tell you yes. unequivocally, get a move on. Yes. Start yes. walking. Okay. The sun is going down. Yes. Way down behind the western hill. Yes. Time is winding up. Yes. It behooves you and me uh -huh. to get about the Father's business yes. and do what he has called us Amen. to do. Look at this man. 38 years he's lying here. Yes. Amen. And you got to be careful who you hang out with Amen. even when you're going through difficult uh -huh. times. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm going to hang around somebody uh -huh. and I'm sick, I'm hanging around here, yes. people. Yes. I want to hang around best yes. folks. Yes. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to watch who I hang Amen. with now. Amen. 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 He lying yeah. And you know what blew my mind was, why in the world mm -hmm. did Jesus, because he didn't know him, That's right. he wasn't a disciple, mm -hmm. the man had been injured and disabled for 38 years, mm -hmm. but Jesus, just the kind of God that we serve, mm -hmm. Jesus will show up in your life. Amen. Come on now, Amen. I don't care who you are or whose you are, uh -huh. when you call on his name. Amen. The Lord will show up. Yes. He may not come when you want him, yes. but I guarantee you, yes. he's always on time. Yes. Stop waiting. Call on him. Yes. This poor man uh -huh. cried. What did he say? And the Lord heard, heard yes. his cry. Yes. God hear you. God said, look at here. I ain't, you, 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 ain't, you ain't waiting on me. I'm waiting on you. It's your move. Yes. It's yes. your move. Yes. Go at it. Yes. Type it in there. Yes. It's your move. Yes. It's time out for feeling sorry for yourself. Uh -huh. Feeling like you were lost and you got beat up and you got misused. Uh -huh. You got lied on and talked about. Yeah. So what? Stop now. waiting. Don't yeah. let people hinder you uh -huh. because as you wait, mm -hmm. you become a procrastinator. Mm -hmm. Like the man lying around the pool. Mm -hmm. No doubt he could have rolled, uh -huh. but he got so weak and worn. Mm -hmm. And tired yes. that he wouldn't even roll. But when Jesus shows yes, up, yes. tell your tell your neighbor what a difference it yes, makes. A difference what a makes. difference it is. Yes. You ought to invite him in. As a matter yes. of fact, uh -huh. I'm gonna give you something. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you a little nugget uh -huh. tonight before you go to sleep. Uh -huh. Just say and type it in. God, show me your glory. God, show me, show your, me glory. your glory. Yes. God, I want to witness your glory. If you got a spouse yes. or a mate. Tell God I yes, want you to show it to me yes. and my mate. Yes, we yes. want to both experience your yes, glory. Yes, because when we experience your glory, yes. we experience your presence. Yes, yes. Now Jesus has come into this invalid's presence. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor when he comes to you, uh -huh. he has a blessing for yes, you. Blessing for I want you. you to walk with me now. Uh -huh. Look what he says here. Amen. A certain man was there who had been ill for 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there, 
he knew he had been in that condition for a long time. Mm -hmm. God knows all about you. Mm. Jesus know what you need. Yes. Jesus know where you are at. Mm -hmm. Jesus got your name. Yes. He has your number. Uh -huh. You can't do anything that he doesn't know Amen. about. That's why you got to be open with him yes. and confess your sins uh -huh. one to another. Mm -hmm. Confess your sin yes. to the Lord and say, Lord, if my sin uh -huh. is hindering me yes. from oh, my Lord. miracle, yeah, move, move it out the way. Hello, I'm I'm okay that. Look what he says here now. Lord. Amen. And do you, look what Jesus asked him. Mm -hmm. I done seen, I, I know you in this condition. I, I know that you are unable to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And this is how the Lord talks to us. I know you're not making enough money per month to pay your house note, mm -hmm. your car note, to pay your insurance. Mm -hmm. I know you don't have enough money to eat with. I know that you are going through a difficult time. Mm -hmm. I know your mortgage is behind. Uh -huh. I know your bank notes are behind. Uh -huh. But I come to tell you, yeah. there is a way out. Uh -huh. And I have the way for you. Mm -hmm. I have the way through. Yeah. I have the way out. Uh -huh. And I have the way beyond yeah. whatever yeah. you will ever yeah. need. Yeah. Trust in the Lord yes. with all your yes. heart yes. and on. lean not to your yes. own understanding. Don't try to figure it out. Uh -huh. Just talk to him yes. and watch him work it out. Yeah, work hey, Shanda. Look what he says here. Do you want to be healed? Yes. Now, yes. let me tell you something. You can hang around negative folk for so long, you won't even know what you want. Mm. You won't know what's available to you. Why? Because I've hung out so long mm. in the dumps. Mm. I've been walking around with not enough too mm. long. And right here, God is a God of more than enough. Yes. God is going to bless you. Yeah, yes. you with more than yes. enough. Hallelujah. God is going to bless you with that healing yes. you need. Hallelujah. With that deliverance you yes. need. God is going to bless yes. you. Going to bring that child yes. that has been lost Hallelujah. for the last eight years. Yes. God is going to bring them. I'm going to go shut up. God is going to heal that yes. Yes, what yes, you've been hallelujah. crying about yes, that's been God. pain in you. God. God got you. Hallelujah, Jesus. God asked him, Holy do you want to be? Made right in the audience tonight, I'm asking you yes, the question. Yes. Do you want to be made whole? Yes, do you want to be healed? Yes, do you want to be delivered? Hallelujah. Do you want to be blessed? Yes, do you God. want the new career? Yes, do you Lord. want the new yes, family? God. Do you Thank want you, the Lord. new home? Yes, do you God. want the new car? Yes, do you God. need the land and the property? Yes. Come on, talk to me out there. God is asking yes. you as he asked the man yes. lying by the pool, yes. do you want it? Because yes. if you want it, yes. God yes. got it. Type it in. Yes. If you want it, God got it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you've been suffering from a stroke, but God told me to tell you tonight, your speech is back. Speak. Speak it. Call it out. Tell him, yes, I want my healing. Yes, yes I want my healing. Yes. And, and the seventh verse, the sick man answered him, sir, mm. Mm, I have no one to put me. I don't have no help. You know, it's sad when we depend on other folk All right. to do what we need to be doing. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, it's difficult when you got to depend on someone else. Because sometimes other folk will disappoint you. Mm, sometimes cool. other folk will let you down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes folk won't be where they're supposed come to be, down, when God. they're supposed yes, to be, yes, to do God. what they are supposed to be doing. Oh, you can't depend on man all the time. Mm -hmm. You got to look to the hill yes, from yes. what cometh your yes, help, man. knowing where your help comes from. Your help comes oh, from the Lord yes. who created who the heaven and the earth. God, God is telling you, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be whole? Do you want to be set free? Well, I, I want you to just digress with me and look over in Mark, the 11th chapter. Amen. Turn fast. You got that notebook. Look uh -huh. at it. Look at it work there. Look at Mark, the 11th chapter and 23rd verse. See, when God asks you a question, you got to know what you want. Mm. Look what he say. For assuredly, 
It's Jesus talking. Uh -huh. I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, uh -huh. to this sickness, uh -huh. to this problem, uh -huh. to this dilemma, yeah. huh? uh -huh. whoever say to it, uh -huh. that's you, black man, white man, red man, uh -huh. yellow man, whoever you might be, rich man, poor uh -huh. man, in between man, yeah. man trying to find his way, yeah. it says, for assuredly, I say to you, whoever, that's me, yes, yes. says to this mountain, mm -hmm. this problem, problem. be removed. Uh, I, I, I need you out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. I'm coming forward. Mm -hmm. Remove and what? And be cast uh -huh. into the sea. Uh -huh. The sea. The sea will divulge him. The sea will eat him up and does not doubt. Tell your neighbor, stop doubting when stop God doubting. trying to bless you. Yeah. Type it in, stop doubting while God All trying right. to bless you. Your doubt will run your miracle uh, off. Your doubt yes. will run and hinder uh -huh. your blessing. Stop now. doubting. Yes. If Thank God you. said it, that's uh -huh. good enough for me. Amen. Look what he says here now. And have doubt in his heart, but he believes mm -hmm. that these things he says will be done. Mm -hmm. Believe what you talking about. My God. Look at here. I, 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 I will be blessed. I will have a seven bedroom home. <laughs> I will amen. have amen, amen. a Mercedes Benz. Amen. I will have, come on here now, peace in yeah. my heart. Yeah. I will have uh -huh. a healthy body. Yeah. My mind is right. My heart is sick. Yes. I made up my physical body uh -huh. is getting stronger yes. and getting stronger. Oh, I'm yes. shaking off yes. sadness. Yes. I'm shaking off the heartbreak. Uh -huh. I'm shaking off the disappointment. Yes, Why? Because I asked your God to deliver me yes. from the pain. Father. Look what it says here, verse 24. Therefore, uh -huh. Jesus say now, therefore, I say to you, mm -hmm. whatever things you ask. Oh my God. When you pray, believe. look what Jesus is saying uh -huh. now. Believe, believe it. it. Just don't be bumping your gums, mm -hmm. making a bunch of noise, mm -hmm. cutting up and carrying on, yes. trying to sound like you holier than thou, uh -huh. that you can pray like Peter mm -hmm. and talk like Paul. Yes. No, you got to believe this thing. If you stutter and talking, mm -hmm. you got to believe the stutter yes. because the word, amen, is true all oh, by yes. itself. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe, mm -hmm. believe, have expectation. Mm -hmm. Just don't be praying and ain't looking for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm praying as soon as I get up, I see the answer. Yes. You don't have to be waiting. God said, you don't have to wait. But if, in case you do wait, wait patiently yes. and, and wait doing something, mm -hmm. working Pressing toward the mark mm -hmm. that you are expecting mm -hmm. God to bless you Amen. with. Look what it says in there. You will receive them and you shall have. Mm -hmm. If God said it, it's good enough for me. Amen. As I close now, mm -hmm. I want you to look at this eighth verse. Amen. And look what the Lord said. Amen. To, now listen at this. Here's a man. Now I know nobody in my viewing audience, amen, is in this kind of condition where you have had the same condition for over 38 years. Mm -hmm. And you know the longer you have it, it gets more and more debilitating. Mm -hmm. This man had an infirmity for 38 years. Mm -hmm. Now, when God himself shows up mm -hmm. and asks him, do he want to be made whole or healed because he's really not knowledgeable of who Jesus is, he gives him an excuse. You don't have to give God an excuse. Mm -hmm. What you have to give God is a repentant heart. Amen. If you have fallen in sin, mm -hmm. get it right. If you've done something wrong, get it right. Amen. And when you get it right with God, God already know your condition. Mm -hmm. Look what he states in now. And Jesus said to him, rise. In other words, now here is a man. Jesus is speaking to a debilitated.
tainted condition, whether it's physical, emotional, or spiritual, whatever condition you might be in, God has a word for it. And God can bring healing and deliverance to pass when you ask. Look what he states here now. Rise. Action. Here's a man hadn't gotten up in 38 years. But when Jesus spoke, uh -huh. he spoke through the parameters of time. Mm -hmm. And he broke the curse mm -hmm. that had been placed upon him of being impaired and disabled mm -hmm. physically. Yeah. Jesus with his powerful voice. Yes. And his anointing yes. broke that yoke yes. that had been holding him hostage. Yes. He said, rise. rise. Now, I ain't got nobody else. Get up from there. Uh -huh. And that's what the Lord is saying. Someone talking about making this guy. I don't have enough money. Uh -huh. I don't have this. I don't. God said, get up. Get up, get up from get there. Up. Get Type up. it in. Get up. He mm -hmm. said, rise. Now, the next thing, since you done rose, you see you're making progress. Uh -huh. Take that, that thing that had been holding you prisoner. Ah, my God. Mm. What's been holding you prisoner? Woo. Doubt. Fear, mm. insecurity, uh -huh. not enough of this, uh -huh. not enough of that, heartbreak, uh -huh. you've been lonely, you're yes. hurt, you've been yes. messed up, mm -hmm. help me, Holy Ghost, yes. you've been mistreated, yes. abused, and accused, uh -huh. throw that thing off, <laughs> get up off it now, up. you don't, you don't want long, don't nobody treat me right, people don't love me, mm -hmm. they did, oh, get off it, oh, come on now, mm -hmm. shake yourself, mm -hmm. ride, mm -hmm. take that cart up, Roll it up. Why? Because you ain't going there no more. Okay. Tell you never, I ain't going there no more. Greater things are in store for me. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has for me. Greatness is in me. Greatness is in me. Greatness is in me. God is in me. Type it in there. God and greatness resides on the inside. And when God and greatness is in you, you can't be defeated. Oh, I will say. Look what he says here now. And after you done roll up that bed, uh -huh. put that cot on your shoulder uh -huh. and walk. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, we getting ready to walk. Ready to walk. Hey, you back. Hey, you in the listening all hey, I'm, I'm back. Oh, yeah, depression, ah, go. Yes, right go. now, frustration, yes. go. Hallelujah. Anger, go right now. Yes. That lump that was in your left ah, breast, man. go right oh, now. Y'all ain't talking to me. Oh, that, that hearing aids you got, yes, go right, right now. now. In the name of Jesus, that yes. epilepsy that's been torturing yes. you, yes. go right now. Oh, Lupus, yes. go right, right now. now. Blood, yes. blood disease, go right yes. now. Yes. In Jesus' yes. name, yes. walk. Walk. He said, walk. Yes, yes. Walk. walk. Mm. When you walk in the Lord, oh, be of good cheer. Yes, and the Lord will see you through. Yes, One can. thing we must learn out of all of this, if we trust in the Lord with all of our heart and don't try to understand everything with our carnal mind, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, when you walk in with God and you have drawn nigh to God, you won't procrastinate. You won't be standing in the waiting line all the time. You're going to be at the head of the line. Why? Because it's your time. Amen. And it's your season Amen. to be blessed. Yes. Why? Because Jesus Christ mm -hmm. died for you. Amen. Didn't he? Yes. The Bible declared that on the third day, mm -hmm. he got up out of the grave. Yes, yes he did. Mm -hmm. With all power. But while he was in that grave, he went into the bowels of hell mm -hmm. and took the keys of death, mm -hmm. amen, and life, and put them around his way. My he took God. the sting out of death mm -hmm. and the victory from the grave. Mm -hmm. Jesus the Christ is the only one that defeated that mm -hmm. devil single-handedly. Mm -hmm. And he can do it, yes. and he will do it. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord mm -hmm. with all your heart, yes. and lean not to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him and the Lord will direct your path. Mm -hmm. If this message has been a blessing to you, I want to give you the opportunity now to give your life to Jesus Christ, the one who bled, suffered, and died 
that you might have eternal life. The word of God said, and I want you to repeat after me, Lord Jesus, today I've heard your word. I confess you, Jesus, as Lord and Savior of my life. I know that you died and you paid for my sins and that you were resurrected and you are now seated yes. at the right hand of our Father, yes. which is in heaven, mm -hmm. making intercession mm -hmm. just for me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Therefore, I am saved, saved. I am saved, saved. I am saved yes. by the blood of the Lamb yes. and the word of my testimony. You, Come on and give the Lord a great big hand to pray. Uh, brothers and sisters, we have one of the greatest holidays coming up on Sunday. We're going to be celebrating Mother's Day. And I want all of you to just celebrate the mothers, the grandmothers. Celebrate these mothers because in these times, mothers have had a great deal on their shoulders. And those who have been true mothers, I want you to love them to life. Give them something. Take them to dinner. Cook them a dinner. Buy them a dinner. Whatever you do. Or just bless them. Be greatly bless them. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, if you want to give your tithe, you can look on the platform there on our giving platform methods and you can give your tithe. Amen. You can give an offering to the pastor, the dollar sign, Reverend and Sister Thomas. You can give an offering there. Or if you like, you can order your prayer packet and we'll be happy. Just order it through our Facebook page and the media ministry will be happy to get it out to you. I pray God's blessings upon you. We look forward to seeing you all very soon. And now before we close, I want to offer prayer. Father, Abba, God, I thank you for life, health, and strength. And Father God, many of us are going through some trying times. Many of us are bombarded with grief and bereavement. Many are mourning. Many of us have lost loved ones. And then there are many who are really reoccurring with COVID and all. But we pray, God, that you will bless these, your people, who are under the sound of our voice tonight. Let the supernatural touch of you and you alone bless, cover, and keep. We pray that you bless the Elm Grove Baptist Church family, comfort our hearts, strengthen us where we are weak, and bless that we can be a blessing to others. And we say thank you, and we give you glory, honor, and praise. For it's all in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray. And everybody said amen, amen, amen and amen. So my brothers and sisters, in my closing, I want you to do this. If you go with God, God will go with you. If you stay with God, I guarantee you, God will stay with you. God bless you, and we will see you Sunday.